to Science Time with the Thompsons. Today we're going to make something called Moon Sand. Now, I'm not sure why it's called Moon Sand. Actually, myself and several of the Thompson clan looked it up and we couldn't really figure out why it's called that. So, if you happen to know, I'd like to know. So, let me know. Alright, so today the ingredients you're going to need, you're going to need flour. And it can be any kind of flour. Um, I have this flour sitting on the shelf, so this is what we're going to use. The fun thing about this, uh, parents, is if you have someone, a little one who is gluten sensitive, you can use gluten free uh, flour or corn flour and it works just the same. So you can not worry about that. You will also need vegetable oil. And then again, you'll need some kind of container to keep your sand in. And that's it. So let's get to it. in your container and then you're going to mix vegetable oil. I'm just going to pour a little at a time and then as with all fun things in science you're just going to get your hands down in it and mix it up. And we're going to keep mixing until we get that nice wet sand feeling like you find at the beach. So then we can build our sand castle. All right. And just like I've mentioned before, if you are, if it's too gooey, put some more flour in it. If it's too dry, put some more oil until you get that perfect texture. Once you've got that good texture in, then it's time to play. All right, so now once you have the perfect consistency for your sand, then we're gonna play in it. And you can play just like you were at the beach. Um, you can get cups and molds and things. So I'm gonna stuff some in my measuring cup here. And then, can dump it out. Look at that, holds that shape just, isn't that cool? Then you can flatten it out. And if you don't happen to have any beach toys, then maybe you have something else, some other shapes. This is a cookie cutter. So I found it in the drawer, so I can use it. And now I have cut a beautiful star shape in the sand. And if you're real careful, you might be able to. Oh, I'm not very careful. Oh, it didn't work real well. But I have almost a star here. That's the fun part. All right, so now I'm gonna turn this over to Dante. And y'all, those of you who know Dante, know how artistic he is. So we're gonna let him attempt to build some kind of little sand castle here. Let's see what he can come up with. that Dante is wearing some gloves so if you don't like to get your hands and stuff you don't like the way it feels this sand is perfect for you to wear gloves and still be able to play some of the other things like oobleck and things um, gloves won't really work as well but you can put gloves on so parents if you have some little ones that don't like to get their hands down in there throw these are gardening gloves throw them on let them play and that way they won't have that sensation on their skin all right so Dante we have a little tower here we have one last thing we have to do to claim this castle. You ready? Pikachu! Perfect. 
Hey Dante, what's a rabbit's favorite place to eat? Uh, where? IHOP! <laughs>